I worked with Ed Dahl way back in the early days of the Erie Community Foundation, and of course Ed was extremely generous and extre extremely involved in volunteerism. I think for those three reasons, Bob was a person who's extremely generous in his financial giving. Secondly, he was willing always to be a foot soldier and do the legwork of volunteering. And thirdly, of course, he was willing to serve in leadership capacities. All of those make him an extremely worthwhile recipient of the Ed Dahl Award. Uh, community service is in Bob's DNA. His father was very active in the community back in the 50s, so Bob had a good role model there. As I understand the criteria for the award, the recipient should be somebody whose volunteerism and personal philanthropy mirrors those of Ed Dahl. Every board I sit on, I live in my mind by what I call the Dwyer Rule, which is not a board member that just kind of sits there, but really rolls up their sleeve and digs into what's going on. Anything he gets involved with, he brings his time, treasures, and talent. And I've been with Bob, served with Bob on some other boards, and he's not just a board member, he's a board leader. Bob is well known in the community uh, for what he does. And when others see that he leads an organization or he supports an organization, that gives it what I call the Bob Dwyer seal of approval. I consider him my best friend, but so does probably everyone in town. That's the most wonderful thing about Bob is he's everyone's best friend and he's just a warm and gracious man. From the time he came into the Knox firm, which was oh, when he was probably about 25 years old, I met him right away and we did a lot of transactions together and they all worked out very well. And I think he's been a real credit to the law firm and to the community. Nobody has uh, lived out the mission of the Knox Law Firm more effectively than Bob Dwyer. And of course, Bob has done that uh, not only through his technical legal skill, but by becoming a trusted advisor to families. Whenever he enters into taking a board assignment somewhere, he is as he would say, all in. My husband was a young associate at the Knox firm with him, and the joke we always had was when we were at functions, Bob was always looking to see who everyone was talking to because it was really important that we were always networking. So, Bob, I want you to pay attention. I wore my Knox shirt just for you. We have a very honored uh, tradition at the law firm of having a softball game between the associates and the partners. First of all, Bob, as a testimony to his efficiency, I think is still wearing the same t-shirt that he had when he first started at the firm. Also, Bob, let's say, has been very creative in rule making and rule interpretation to make sure that uh, the associates or the partners, whichever team he was playing on, would win the game. Bob always has that crooked smile on his face. You don't know if he's happy with you or if he's angry with you. That's a great intimidating factor. We had a party at the beach and fireworks scheduled for 10 o'clock, but Bob is usually in bed by eight or nine. And he asked me to do him earlier and I warned him that if he left before the fireworks, I would hire Edgar Snyder to be uh, our lawyer. And he stayed for the fireworks. Robert Dwyer is an unusual man in this culture in this century. He's one of the most interesting conversationalists in the city of Erie. And let me add one more thing here. There would be no Bob without a Mo Dwyer. That's very important. Uh, she's not in the limelight, but she is so supportive and so deserving. They're both visionaries. They can see a larger picture. They can envision uh, a better community. And it's people like Bob and Mo Dwyer who we need a lot more of in this community and we'd be better people. I would uh, genuinely name them as a power couple because they're both thinkers, but most of all, they listen to one another. They have allowed their kids to be who they are as well. My parents taught us that being part of a community means recognizing our privilege and blessings and doing what we can to be of service to others and that if we want to live in a great community, that each of us is responsible to contribute toward that end. And over the past couple of years, I've started to spread my wings and, and take over the world in my own way, and, and my siblings have followed suit and done the same thing. He's shown me that serving my community is not just a chore, but a rewarding activity, driven by the relationships he has with those around him and a genuine desire to watch Erie become a better place. 
Dad, you've always told us that you measure your success by the success and happiness of all us kids. I'm happy to say that I'm super happy. So congratulations on your big success. Some people might not know Bob as a dad and as a grandfather. Uh, he is just as committed to his family as, uh, as you would expect. He is so tender and loving and generous with us and he has always done everything in his power to provide for us um, and I just honestly couldn't think of a stronger more positive figure to have as a father. He has a real soft side especially with the grandkids. He's never too busy to have them sit on his lap for a story or song. He'll jump right in the pool to practice blowing bubbles with them. He'll throw up a tent in his bedroom for a sleepover party. Bob, you're the best husband, a wonderful and loving father, and a devoted and doting grandfather. You have been a, a tremendous role model to our children, imparting the values of getting involved in the community and giving back to the community. You've had a stellar, successful law career, and on top of that, you have managed to get involved in the Erie community by volunteering. How did you do that?